right, guys, we're in a mobile home park where one mobile home is being invaded by rodents. She's hearing them underneath, but mostly in the ceiling. We have no idea where they're coming in. She's done a lot of netting. So we're about to hunt them down right now. So today we're in a mobile home, guys. This, our client Luana has been experiencing scratching in her ceiling in the kitchen, has no idea where these rats are coming in. She's exhausted herself and netting around her mobile home. It's just at literally just exhausted as what to do with these rodents. Today is gonna to be an interesting day. We're gonna remove all of this insulation. It's gonna be a big day, but we're gonna accomplish a lot and get down to the bottom of this rat infestation. All right, so when it comes to mobile homes, the first thing, the most obvious is the, is the skirting. And as you can see, Luana has a, a lot of great screens that are tight. So we've kind of done a perimeter right here. Luana did do some foaming prior to calling us. She thought perhaps they were coming through here, but as you can see, there's really not any rub marks. And she went to the degree herself to net around her entire mobile home structure and um, she's still hearing it. So today we're gonna have to remove all of the insulation because during our previous inspection, we removed a section and there was a lot of dropping. So they're definitely migrating underneath this mobile home. They're coming up into the structure. But the question is, how are they getting underneath this crawl space? As you can see, there's so much space here between uh, the ceiling. So we're gonna go ahead and check the, uh, the vents. So this is that one bathroom below. It's got a cap on it. This one also has a cap, so that's no issue. And this is where the skylight is. This is where she's hearing a lot of the activity in this area. I'm not seeing any uh, smear marks in the indication. There's some spider webs through here, so we know that they're potentially not coming through here, and I don't see any, any indications that they're coming in from the top here. I do smell a little bit of a scent. It's hard to read, but it's not as strong, but uh, potential source there. Here's the water heater. There's another vent right there. We talked to the other uh, tenants in the area, and they don't seem to be having a rodent issue, so Luana, our client, seems to be the only one that's having this issue. So oftentimes, though, when you exclude a home or a dwelling where the rats are infested a lot of times those rats will move over to the neighbors so it'll be interesting at the end of the day here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of the siding completely off and this will give us access to remove all of the insulation that's under there because we really want to see where all of the openings are potentially going into the uh, into the four walls so we may not remove all of it but enough to give us access to take the insulation remove the insulation all right we're going to perform a moisture reading just to see if there's any urine that's soaking through seems to be dry which is good so you heard it right around this area in here yes okay like surround the sound and did you, when when you heard it did you come in and knock and then they stopped or no they didn't care they didn't care no yeah okay and during the day wow okay come yeah, we're, we did a moisture reading and we didn't pick up any, a lot of times if they're saturated, saturating, so that's that's good news. Okay. You could see uh, Luana has been at this for a while. She even dug it herself and put this net about six inches below ground level. So she's been after these rats for a while. All right, the team's getting suited up. We're gonna be getting underneath there and start removing the bagging, disposing the insulation. Some rodent activity right here, you could see there's the uh, entry point right there. Look at this hole right here. Where? Over here. There's a hole right over here where the electric's going in. Where at? Right here. Oh, yeah. And turn it on. They chew through there? Yeah. Chew through here, one, one way here. Okay. Yep. And I could see the staining there, too. Yeah. From the right urine. What about the, uh, is there any secretion on that electrical? Uh, not. No? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and remove this right here. I think this is a possible source here, Thompson. Okay. Well, no? No. Okay. No nest or feces or anything, huh? No. Uh, it's getting, t it's getting tighter over here. We've got all the pipes in the way. Got this, uh, this sewer line right here. Okay. We can crawl through that way? No, the pipe. It's what? supposed to go leading to that dryer vent. 
Oh. And it's just right there. It's open? It's open. That's open right there. Right here too. That's where they could be crawling up. See any uh, marks? Nothing yet. So this is loose and it's not connected. No. Where is it supposed to go, Thompson? Right here. Oh, got it. Dryer turns on and blows out. Huh. Yeah, sometimes these crawl spaces are super, super tight. You never know what you're going to come up against. What'd you find, Stephen? There's this hole right here. It goes up in the house. Okay. So that looks like a suspect area right there. Yep. Okay. Really important to, uh, when insulation is removed, to inspect all the bays for all the entry points. It just takes one small hole that you miss and they're back at it. What'd you find, Stephen? Uh, there's another opening that goes into a wall right directly up there. And that, that kind of matches up to the uh, where the skylight is. Yeah. I see the light from up there, I think. You see some light? Yeah, I think it's coming from outside or up there. Really? Let me see, let me see. Yeah. Oh, oh, I saw that. It's from outside. Oh, got it. But there's a hole though, like you can see the hole. Okay. It fits my hand in there. And is there any brown secretion marks or anything? Like as though they were crawling up or is it hard to tell? It's hard to tell right now. I mean, those are a lot of rat poop. A right lot there, of, huh? Yeah, yeah, a lot of rat seed pieces. So that's a huge potential right there. Yeah, it's a big, that's a big, big find right there. It's a big hole. We're, we're going to tap on the vent. Tell us in the kitchen where it's located. Go ahead, Stephen. You see my hand? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see it. Where? What is it? Nice. Furnace. 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 Okay. Um, can you take that cover off, Ben, and see if they're coming in through there? I have a little mirror. So you, I have the cover off. Is there any rodent feces or anything? Oh, I was going to yeah. check it out. Oh, sorry. Um, there isn't none that I see, no. Uh, it's open. Yeah, most of it is on the insulation. Okay. Yeah. But should that be covered though, or what part of the? No, uh, I, I mean, yeah, I think it should be covered. It's a, it's a big hole. Say hello, Van. Oh, hello. <laughs> all right, you guys. See how important it is to remove everything in order to expose all that sub wood substrate to figure out where those entry points are. We found like four or five already. I'm gonna head towards the front and see how Brandon's doing towards the uh, front of the house. Yeah, so when it comes to mobile homes, really important to remove the siding. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of times we'll have to remove the insulation under here to expose, to get to the bottom of it. Any rat feces there? Yeah, there. Is there? Yeah. It's all right here, it's down. So they're just nesting inside that insulation. Good time. Yeah, they're just, what they're doing is that they've just completely taken over the entire floor of this uh, mobile home. They're just nesting in between that insulation and just... Nest over here. Oh yeah, look at that. They, uh, you see, this is why plastics and so forth underneath. You can tell they chewed. Look at that. Crazy. They were over here. Over there too? They were over here doing that. Ah. You got a nest in there? Yeah, that's there. You see? See it? Put the light on there? Oh, yeah. Was this already down? Yeah, this was down. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of activity up here for sure. How we doing, Brandon? Doing good. You said the insulation was wet? Yeah, I'm going to put it in the bag. This one right here. Let me see. It's all damp. It smells like urine. It smells like urine? Yeah, it smells. Let me see. Something is all stuck to the paper. Uh huh. Is that rat feces too or no? Is it... I just I just think too more urine than looking for any possible uh, entry points like burrows. Okay, guys, I think uh, Stephen found a, a burrow, so I'm gonna head over to towards the front or towards the back. That's what I love. What I do, we do the explore process and uh, begin to find the entry point. So back underneath there where uh, Stephen is. Okay, Stephen, what'd you find? There's a tunnel over here. A burrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you see the scratches on the outside? Yes. And it's a pretty big Oh, thing. look at that, you guys. It stays in there. Hey, that's a good find. <laughs> look oh, at how deep. deep. It's deep. Look at how deep. Look at that, you guys. Look at that burrow. Wow. 
And so, so this was over it? Yeah, those pieces, some of it was over it. Then, where do you see the scratching? Right here in the walls. Look, well, you can see right here. You see. I don't know if you can tell with the camera. Yeah, but, uh, yeah that's yeah. a big find. So it's headed in that direction right there. We're gonna have to get some um, rapid set concrete and fill this hole up. But what I'd like to do, Stephen, mm -hmm. is take a water hose and uh, put water in there and see what we can do to come out. Hey, uh, Brandon, yes, can you? Is there a water hose accessible? Oh uh, yeah. Can you grab that for me? Bring it to this side. Yes, please. This is a great, great find here. All right, guys. So Stephen had a really good idea. We're gonna go ahead and run a camera and see how far this burrow goes and who knows we might be able to see some rats let's find out all right so we've got our camera here and uh, we're going to go ahead and insert this nice and slow hopefully we can so here's our camera camera head here and we're going under look at how deep that that hole is in. oh look at how look at how deep that hole is you guys how long it is as well oh yeah oh yeah there's a rat's nest right there so I'm in right now. Is that rat hair or uh, roots? Some roots. Okay. Unbelievable, you guys. I'm in about seven feet now. And it just keeps going. Yeah, it just keeps going, you guys. That's, That's as cool, far right? as I can go, guys. Is there one or one? Yeah, it looks like there's two paths there. One to the right and one to the left. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to run some water in here. Here we go. Luana, do you have a moment? Yes. Found a big... You said a burrow, he was saying. Yeah, Luana, very good find here. Burrow. Mm -hmm. Definitely from the rats. Unbelievable find. So just wanted to document this for you. That's close to the uh, uh, crawl space. Massive. Oh my lord. Massive. And I, and I ran my cable down there. I ran my... my camera to see how far I can get in we went in seven eight feet and because it's soil my camera can my push rod right. can only do so much right. but I filled it up with a bunch of water and then I, I went up on your fence there to see if any water is coming up the surface on your neighbors so I have no idea where that burrow goes to <laughs> oh my god yeah so um, I've got Ben coming with uh, large rocks we're gonna fill that up as much as possible okay. and then add some concrete rapid set concrete okay but I, that's the that was the entry point for sure. That so even though I did the best I could over here, they have a they have a, they've tunneled in. Like yep. Prisoner like escape. Yeah. Because they have to come into the crawl space, right? Right. So we were that was my major investigation. Why? How are they coming into the crawl space? Yes. So they're coming in through that burrow, and then they're entering through all the small gaps throughout your your uh, you. mobile home. Thank you. I told Ben. I go. I want to know how they're getting. Yes. In. So here's what we may have to do. Okay. We're gonna have to monitor that because if they're aggressive and they wanna come back in, that doesn't mean that they won't create another burrow. Right. So there's a couple th different solutions that we possibly could think of to maybe cover the entire soil so this doesn't happen again. But for right now, we're gonna stop them for sure. Okay. Okay? Okay, that's fair enough. Oh my God, I'm so glad you figured yeah. it out because it was driving me nuts. Oh, I'm sure.